In this video, we're going to look at number three from the 41B lesson, both the module and the Desmos activity. It says, graph the given equation on the same coordinate plane and find the solution or solutions to the system, if there is any, or if there is one. We're going to show work in our module, converting these into slope-intercept form. We're going to verify, and we'll also be doing the graph on the Desmos screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our module and we're going to work on converting this. So first step is we'll move the X term over. All right, and that one is ready to graph. And since I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing although different steps, but um, I'm gonna do the converting work right now. All right. And so we are looking for the solution that works for both of these lines, which it would be the point that works for both of these lines or that is both that is on both of these lines. Essentially, where do these lines cross? OK, so we're going to go over to our graph. and We're going to graph these. I'll even try to use the same color. All right. I like to plot my points, though, first. So this was the line. Um, which was y equals, let me double check actually, uh, y equals negative 2x plus 10. Cool. Um, so we're up at 10. There we go. And there's an undo button. And then this slope was negative 2, so down 2, right 1. Down 2, right 1. I'm going to do a lot of these though because I wanna know not just kind of, but exactly where do these lines cross. All right, so there is that line. And now I can make my, use my line segment tool. Cool. And then if I wonder where this line hits, now I've got all the points. And then we did the other one in blue. And the other one started at 8 and had a slope of negative 1. Got my pencil tool, and I'm just going to plot some points. It started at 8, and it had a slope of negative 1. Oop, right there. Hopefully you know what I'm referring to. And even with pencil and paper, that's a bit tricky to graph it on here, but the good thing is, is it forces you or encourages you to focus on your points. Because right here, even with a nice sharp pencil and a ruler, on a piece of paper, um, it's easy to potentially think that this point is maybe nearby this, but I need to know its exact spot. Okay, so um, here we're going to enter this answer. And this answer is right two and up six. So the ordered pair will be two comma six. Before I type that in, I'm gonna go over and do my verify before I lock in my answer. So I'm claiming that two comma six in parentheses with a comma is my answer. So let's see if that's the case. We're gonna do verifies in the original. Because if we made an error, the potential spots where our error could be is in our converting or in our graphing. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other one. And the other one was 
And like in the other slide, it mentioned that just because it checks out in one, it could still fail for the other. All right. So that means that all is well. This is, in fact, the answer that those that X and Y value together satisfy both lines simultaneously or at the same time. So let's go over here and we'll enter it as an ordered pair. There it is. 